I don't end up as a shambling corpse. Want to have your clip featured in the Skyrim Clip of the Week? Simply record the clip on your Xbox and then send it to me via message. My gamertag is iryeni, that's I-R-Y-E-N-I, and then you can message it to me over Xbox and I'll be able to view it. I look forward to seeing the clips that you guys send me. Now moving on to the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Ryan and welcome back to another episode of Modded Monday. We're on week number 162 now, guys. I've picked out five new mods for you guys to check out and perhaps add them to your load order if you find them interesting. So let's just jump straight into it. Starting off at our number five spot, we have the Mr. B's Lootable Things mod. Now the mod page reads that Lootable Things replaces static items into lootable ones physically and doesn't use any scripts. This includes static barrels, crates, wood piles, taproot balls, and mammoth tusks, and you can now find mead and mead barrels as well. The items that you can find in these crates and barrels have been painstakingly designed over the past two to three years or so to provide an immersive looting experience. Static barrels and crates will not only have the usual food or alchemy ingredients, but you can also find weapons, armor, treasure, clothes, books, and an assortment of magical items. Don't forget that you might find packing straw or trash, which is the majority of items that you loot in here because no one would just leave their things lying around. This mod has also been designed to be as mod friendly as they could make it, so it will not affect areas and locations such as shops, player homes, and inns. The safest place to put a mod like this would be higher up in your list and let everything else come after it. So I really like this idea for a mod because there's so many different types of crates in the game that aren't lootable. They're just there and serve no purpose, but this mod actually gives them purpose now and allows you to loot them, and if you place it higher up in your list, you could pretty much just forget it's there because it's only 1.04 megabytes. It's such a small mod that gives you access to many more items in the game and many more things to loot, and that's definitely why it's featured here at our number 5 spot, so I'd recommend downloading Mr. B's Lootable Things mod and giving it a try for yourself. Coming in at our number 4 spot, we have a brand new combat overhaul called Mortal Kombat Fast Paced Combat Tweaks. Now the mod page reads that Skyrim is labeled as an action RPG. However, its combat is slow, unfair, and clunky at times compared to modern day ARPGs. Mortal Kombat attempts to pair other great mods together to achieve a more fast paced, fair, and enjoyable combat experience, which features fluid and speedy movement for both players and enemies, improved stamina and magicka regeneration in combat, dodgeable projectiles to allow the player to react to range attacks, and focus on smooth, challenging, yet enjoyable gameplay instead of realistic or hardcore difficulty approaches. Now, the movement records of most of the enemies, as well as the player, have been tweaked to be faster and quicker. You also have attack commitment features, but you won't feel too restricted with this mod. Sneaking and blocking is also faster, but they've lowered the speed of aiming and casting, but you still won't feel like a turtle. The spells in Skyrim are just ridiculously fast. You can't really dodge them by reaction time, and all you can do is sidestep and juke the enemies to miss. Mortal Kombat aims to counter this by reducing the projectile speed, and based on dodgeable arrows, spells, and shouts, they've reduced the speed of projectiles used by enemies by roughly half including spells, shouts, dwarven spear bolts, and arrows, whether they be iron, steel, falmer, ancient nord, or rickling spears, some of the affected projectiles will be used by the player too. The only range attack that doesn't follow these rules would be the shock and lightning spells because that wouldn't really make too much sense to slow them down. They've also reduced the stamina cost of a power attack, bash attack, and sprinting, as well as a reduced regeneration delay, and the power attack requires 25 stamina minimum. Bash attack requires 15 stamina minimum, instead of just being able to bash attack whether you have stamina or not. The attack range and reach is adjusted so that two-hand weapons swing a bit faster. Now one of my favorite parts about this combat overhaul is it is so compatible with so many different mods. Whether you're using other combat overhauls such as Blade and Blunt or Wildcat, this mod will run alongside it, just as long as you place it in the right place in your load order. If you're using the Wildcat combat overhaul like me, then you should place this mod right below it, but if you're using another overhaul such as Blade and Blunt, then you should place this above it. It's pretty much up to your preference and how you like your combat, but in my personal opinion I feel that Wildcat and then Mortal Kombat following it makes for the greatest combat overhaul in the game. But regardless if you have Wildcat or other overhauls or not, the Mortal Kombat Fast Paced Combat Tweaks is a mod that greatly changes the combat to be better and fast paced, making it so you have to be a little bit more strategic whenever you're planning your battles. And that's what I really like about a combat overhaul mod and that's why it comes in at our number 4 spot, so I strongly recommend downloading the Mortal Kombat Fast Paced Combat tweaks mod. 
Coming in under number 3 spot, we have the Soulsborne themed collection mod. This mod adds a collection of weapons, clothes, and miscellaneous items based on the Dark Souls and Bloodborne games. It adds about 7 weapons, which some have different variants in multiple crafting stages, 1 shield, 2 lanterns, and an outfit. They have their own crafting and temper recipes, and some have variants that can be changed at the forge from one mode to another. This includes the Plague Doctor's outfit, which includes a clean version as well as a dirty version, and then there's also different types of Doctor's canes that you can craft with the Plague Doctor's outfit. There's also a Holy Moonlight Greatsword, which has 3 crafting stages, which includes starting at the Heavy Greatsword, upgrading to the Moonlight Greatsword, and then going finally to the Holy Moonlight Greatsword. And then you have another Greatsword that can be changed to be a one-handed or two-handed version, and then a Saw Cleaver that can be extended and retracted. You will need the perks that coincide along with these armors where you craft them in the Forge, such as the Daedric Smithing perk, there's also the Ebony, Dwarven, and Steel Smithing perks that you're going to need. But once crafted and equipped by your player, you're going to feel like a very powerful badass, especially if you've played Dark Souls or Bloodborne in the past. All around, I think these are some great new armors and weapons weapons to add into the game, so if you are a fan of Dark Souls and Bloodborne, then I definitely recommend checking out the Soulsborne themed collection mod. Coming in at our number 2 spot, we have the Thanes Quarters Player Home. Now this mod adds the Thanes Quarters to the Blue Palace in Solitude in the Unused Wing, which is a medium-sized player home for your family and followers. It has tons of features, including a staff enchanting table, as well as all the other crafting stations in the game, a kids room for 3 and beds for 15 plus, a bathing room, a storage and basic display room, a jail, a dining room, bar and kitchen, a shrine room, a huge library, as well as many display racks and harvestable plants, and crafted item storage. Now it's that the Jarl of Solitude felt that after all of your heroic achievements that the title of Thane just wasn't enough. So they restored the unused wing and granted it to their most valuable Thane, which is you. And as you can see, this is a great new player home that features everything that you're going to need in a player home. And it's all within one loading screen as well. You don't have to travel from room to room in order to store all your items. Everything is just all within one cell and everything is very easy to access. It's very beautifully decorated and is very small in size, coming in at 231.22 kilobytes. So why wouldn't you want a mod like this on your load order? If you spend a lot of time in Solitude and you have a lot of Solitude overhauls in your mod list, then I'd strongly recommend checking out the Thane's Quarters player home and just adding more to Solitude so that it just becomes the perfect city. So that's definitely why the Thane's Quarters comes in at our number 2 spot, so I'd strongly recommend downloading it. Coming in at our number 1 spot, we have a very powerful mod called Void. Now this mod adds dishonored based powers that will make you feel godlike with custom mixed audio and visual effects. It'll make you feel immersed in both games at one time, which is something I've never heard from in a mod. Inspired by Dishonored, this mod adds new versions of Blink, Gaze, Bend Time, and many others. All of these effects combined give you the feel of Dishonored, yet keep you immersed into Skyrim. It is recommended to have your max magicka over 500 to have a great time, yet still have that challenging feel. Now where to actually find these powers is in Helgen Keep, right after the first part of the first mission, you go to the table where the Dead Storm Cloak's gear is, and you can find a book on the table marked Strange Text. You can take it and then your journey begins. Now when it comes to how these spells actually play out, this is the most polished spell mod that I've ever seen, and rightfully so with a mod that comes in at 231 megabytes. But the powers that you get along with this mod, especially Blink, which is my favorite one from Dishonored, it actually feels true. You know, a lot of the other teleport spell mods have been kind of clunky and don't actually let you teleport wherever you want, but I feel like this mod perfected it. You know, Blink feels so clean and it also includes all of the sound effects included with the Dishonored Blink that it just truly feels like its own unique spell instead of just a reskinned one. Combining it with some of the other powers that you get, such as Gaze and Bend Time, make it so you have so much power in the palm of your hand. My two favorites that I used within this showcase were the Bend Time and Blink spells because Bend Time, you could slow down time to a halt and pretty much perform any type of assassination that you would want. I feel as though this would be perfect for an assassin character, especially going through the Dark Brotherhood and doing those assassination missions, using Blink and Bend Time as well as the other powers that you're given with this mod, it would just make for the greatest assassin character. And although it is very overpowered, meaning you won't really have too much of a struggle if you use all of these together, it's still very fun to use these spells and can be very satisfying depending on what type of character you have. And that's definitely why Void comes in at our number one spot, so I'd strongly recommend going out and downloading it and letting me know what you think of these new spells that they've added. So that's pretty much it for this week's episode of the Top 5 Skyrim Mods of the Week. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you did, I'd appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe if you're new. It really helps me out a lot. And if you have any suggestions for mods you'd like me to cover in future Top 5 Mod episodes, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Or you can follow me on Twitter. I'll be sure to leave my Twitter in the description, and you guys can follow me on there and leave me suggestions to there as well. Special shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for everything that you guys have done for me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will talk to you guys later.